Hello, welcome back everyone to Midwest Fest 2024 here at uh, in KC. We got the 10k prize pool, 1500 for uh, Smash Ultimate, so mm. quite a lot on the line. Christmas Bob won, Bindi Strauss, and we do have a change of plans. No longer will it be uh, the Je Death Spade versus Chumples. We are uh, actually going to be having Henry Luma versus Crackshot on stream right now. Bit of a bit of a change of plans, but uh, still excited for this shot uh, for this match nonetheless. And I did notice Crackshot's shirt uh, <laughs> makes it very easy to tell who is who. <laughs> Rather yeah. thick shirt. All right, second round we've seen on Terry. All right. Crackshot using Terry, uh, Henry Luma using Rob. This is the second Rob. Our first one, of course, was uh, a little bit of unforgettable. Yeah, indeed, and very dominating. We're gonna have to see if Henry Luma is able to get some of that domination as well. So far, has been nearly untouched on this first yes. stock here. Incredible first stock here by Henry Luma, using that top to perfection, perfecting the top game. Indeed, it seems like there is no shortage of that around here. Now, Crackshot getting that go meter. Gonna have to see if it's able to come into play here. Hopefully for him, lessen this lead that Henry Luma has built. So far, Crackshot's been doing just oh that. Sealing out that stock with the up B, chasing Henry Luma all the way to the top of the screen for that quick reversal after Henry Luma's strong opening. And a quick confirm with the Buster Wolves. Gonna bring Henry Luma up to 56%. Henry Luma firing back with that mm. back air. Henry Luma, I uh, was able to even us up stock-wise, but Crackshot was just insane! And got out of the last nowhere. stock and a half. <laughs> just got that down air. Hard punishing Henry Luma's get-up option from the ledge. Was absolutely ready for that. It's continuing the hurt here, building per percent after percentage on Henry Luma's last stock here. Making things look grimmer and grimmer. Henry Luma's got to get something going here. Maybe this back air will do it. But he misses the combo. He drops the combo. Doesn't hit the laser as Crackshot was able to easily time it perfectly. All right, continuing with these aerials. So far, Henry Luma has absolutely been on fire this... Uh, sorry, a Crackshot has been on fire this game uh, with some incredible play. However, Henry Luma showing some signs of life. Henry here, Luma went for the back. juggle, but he ended up dropping it. No clown is he, but he's going for another juggle here. Misses the combo here that could have ended the stock, but will this do it? No, he misses the laser once again, misses the top, as Crackshot was able to make it back to the stage. Right, the up smash after all that is going to do it. Sealing off Crackshot's second stock here, and now Henry Luma trying to make this comeback here. This is definitely the way to start it off. Yes, if Henry Luma was ever to come alive, now is the time to do it here in game one! Alrighty, the burst option is gonna come out. Uh, stop Henry Luma in his tracks, but was absolutely working on quite a nice comeback. As Henry Luma was, it was such a weird game that was. As, cra as it started with Henry, Henry Luma getting some good shots and getting some good Indeed. hits in under Crackshot, and then Crackshot just took over, took absolute control up Definitely. until the very end when Henry Luma started to get things back going. Yeah, and it was it was just some back and forth match here. Uh, we're gonna have to see how this last one varies. Um, I mean, or this next one varies here if Henry Loom was able to get some of the, the good notes of that last game, just polish them up. Unfortunately, starting off with an SD from Crackshot pretty early don't, on. You don't want to see that if you're a Crackshot fan. But it, it, I did like the thought process of Henry Luma of throwing the top out and then throwing Crackshot into the top, but unfortunately he missed the throw. But these up, these up airs aren't missing at all. They are not. So after that SD, uh, Henry Luma has been using this momentum to just keep on the hurt. So far, was not letting Crackshot back to the stage. Finally does so, but not before getting up to 87%. Quite a sizable lead and quite a large amount to overcome yeah. for Crackshot if he wants to seal off the second game here. Henry Luma has lapped Crackshot, but now with that go meter, maybe Crackshot will be able to bring it back. It is not impossible as Terry with a go meter is very scary. Call him Scary Terry, if you will. Very scary indeed. Very scary Terry. <laughs> All right. What's also scary is this edge guarding coming out from Rob. And Crackshot was able to get through all of that. Tried to Buster Wolf. Henry Luma was ready. Punish that, bringing Crackshot down to their last stock of the game. All right, Ooh. the down B is going to quickly take out Henry Luma's first stock. What could be the start 
of a comeback. If it's anything like the previous game that we saw, that comebacks is, are not out of the question. That is exactly what Crackshot needed was to take that stock, but now still down by a stock and a half. Crackshot has got to get this going. He was able to get a good combo before. Ooh, just barely avoided the SD. All right, Go Meter is out again, but this is not the spot you want to be in on your last stock. Let's see if Crackshot, equipped with this Go Meter, is going to be able to steal this game. Able to up B through that edge guard, which was very scary coming out from Henry Luma. Yes, Crackshot able to hold on here, can but the, for how much longer? Can the Go Meter work to perfection against Henry Luma to bring this back as he once again is still down by an entire stock and a half? Alrighty, Henry Luma running across the stage, reading that get up option. The and power the dunk. Power dunk missed, but he was still able to bring it back. Can he bring it back again? The top stops him. And that was an incredible snipe from Henry Luma to take that second game, leaving us at one to one. Now, of course, Crackshot did SD there at the beginning, but you cannot discredit Henry Luma. That was some incredible play throughout the rest yes. of that game. You could say that, that was some uh, terrifying play plays. <laughs> they were. Um, and now we have an even set. Both players having the opportunity to switch characters, but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Yes, both these two uh, players seems like they know their characters inside and out. They do. Both players showing some incredible prowess with their with their characters, but Henry Luma was just able to not let uh, Crackshot make up for that SD in the previous game. As it appears, we are on a new map, though, a uh, new stage as Henry Luma got a few cheeky up airs in there and continuing to do so. Yeah, these aerial juggles have been putting in quite a lot for Henry Luma. Oh, a perfect laser there, but misses the top. And unfortunately for Crackshot, air dodging right into the grasp of Henry Luma, able to continue on this pressure now with a down throw, ready for the air dodge, continuing this juggling with the up tilt so far. Henry Luma has not let off the pressure a bit. Narrowly missing that down air, which would have certainly spiked. However, Crackshot sends off Henry Luma off stage yet again. We're going to have to see if <laughs> Henry Luma was able to get out of this bad position here. And it looks like he was, as we are evenly matched back and forth here. And the up air, still not enough to do it. Air dodges through the laser, but the gyro was just too much. And the up air to punish that up B is going to take off Crackshot's first stock. All right, holding the gyro, we're going to see if Crackshot's able to use it to their advantage. Unfortunately, it is now gone. All right, the laser providing a good opening. Henry Luma taking full advantage of it. Continuing this ledge pressure and punishing <laughs> with the side B rather immaculately. Flying and all the way out with the back air to seal off the second Stock. Henry Luma wasn't done with crack shot, just went all the way across the, the screen to get him. Exactly, chased him all the way out there. And the crack shot firing back with that up B, still though down a full stock. Mm -hmm. So crack shot, hopefully this is enough to get things going for crack shot, but the way that Henry Luma is playing, it's going to be very difficult for crack shot to do this. It is. Henry Luma has been getting some insane juggles. Just these insane combos. Putting on so much pressure to Crackshot that it is now leading to a last stock. Nearly at kill percent situation. Of course, when the Go Meter will come online real soon. Yes, and that will definitely help Crackshot. But when you're down by a whole stock and a half here, again, just like last game, it's going to be very difficult. It is. The punish on the power dunk. Not able to get a follow up off that down throw though. The go meter is alive and well. Crack shot doesn't get the ledge guard. As I say that. The power gazer, not quite enough to take that stock. Surprisingly, side B is gonna do it though. Bringing this to a last stock situation. Crack shot is equipped with the go meter, but that does come with a price of over 100%. However, racking on quite a bit in this corner here. Yeah, crack shot able to bring it back. Mm, spoke a little too soon on that one as Henry Luma was able to get the F smash. But not before, uh, not, not to discount crack shot by any means. That was quite an incredible last stock he was playing. Henry Luma shut it down before it could get too far, but had he not been able to, I absolutely could have seen Crackshot taking that real quickly. Yes, Henry Luma 
was on an insane tear there. And this time there was no SD, early SD coming out from Crack Shot. So Henry Luma, that was all skill and all adjustments right there from him. It was. Quite skillful play. These, the just chasing him all around the stage, chasing him through the air, showing that you are never safe. Yeah, but we will see if any adjustments come out from Crackshot in Game 4 here. He's going to need to do some adjusting if he wants to send us to a Game 5. Right, but Henry Luma wants to shut those dreams down early as getting quite a few juggles starting off. And the top amazingly stops the recovery from Crackshot. Right, the double gyro re-grab sending Crackshot far off stage, but was able to avoid any major edge guarding. Right, quick combo now. F crack shot firing back after that strong opening from Henry Luma. Down throw, no follow up yet again. Seems like Crack Shot is rather adept at getting out of those. Not quite enough from that up air. And a wonderful air dodge back to the ledge. And a wonderful <laughs> jab confirm into the Buster Wolf. Doesn't quite get the ledge guard though. Right, the down tilt into the down smash is going to put Crack Shot in a real bad spot. Mixes Ooh. the recovery just enough. Just enough of a mix-up to get himself back to the stage. And he's able to perfectly shield and block the, the top coming back at him. Reading that jump get up perfectly, meeting Henry Luma in the air with that side B. Now, I was about to say having a lead on like the last game, but now Henry Luma has squashed that lead immediately with the up smash. Yes, yeah, so and we are all evened up, 0% apiece on our second stock. But Crackshot is getting some nice combos, some good juggles, some great mix-ups in. This is what we need to see if we want to see a Game 5 situation. Crackshot so seems to, so far in this game, making some great adjustments. Getting a lot more combos. But speaking of combos, Henry Luma oh reminding goodness. us that Terry is not the only one around here with those <laughs> on deck. And the what back air. What a read. The back air will seal that off. Quite incredible performance there from Henry Luma to take back the lead from Crackshot. Henry Luma could close out the set here. But Crackshot has a say in this matter and says no as he sends Henry Luma flying to his final stock. Okay, quite a game we have here. All right, it looked like Henry Luma was about to shut that down immediately, but looks like Crackshot's going to live just a bit longer. Got him bouncing along the stage with those down tilts, and so far, and Henry Luma has not let up and did not let up till the very end. Going 3-1 for Henry Luma. Unfortunate early controller disconnect. <laughs> Let Terry finish flying off there and finish the set. Let Terry finish his trip, guys. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, a wonderful performance from both players. Uh, so many opportunities uh, Crackshot had to, to come back, was, was making the most of them, but the destructive power of Henry Luma's Rob was too much. And Henry Luma, or I'm sorry, Crackshot, was wonderful that first game, had everything under control, but then the adjustments that Henry, Henry Luma pulled out for game two was just too much for Crackshot to handle. Although in game two, he did, pull, he did have that unfortunate early SD, but yeah. I feel like that matters not when you're going up against a Rob like that. Yeah, um, there, was, there was no opportunities there to make that back as um, Henry Luma just so aggressive. Uh, can, can kind of sometimes hold back for a little bit, wait for the right opportunity, and then let loose. Sometimes carrying Crackshot all around the stage, sealing it off with some edge guard, some, some smash attack. Just wonderful play from yeah, Henry and Luma. The aggression that Henry Luma had, like he threw Terry all the way across to almost off screen and wasn't done with him. Just Not followed him out there, chased him out there. He wanted that stock. It was like he had a vendetta against that Terry. Yeah. And that vendetta has been settled as Henry Luma advances with the 3-1 with an incredible rob, but not uh, to discount Crackshot whatsoever. Absolutely looked like a comeback was doable if, if Henry Luma hadn't, hadn't just sealed out those games. But there were some, some really great combos coming out from Crackshot. Some great confirms with the, uh, with the go meter, was able to make some use of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but wasn't able to make as much use as he may have liked, though, as uh, Henry Luma was very proficient at sealing out those stocks. Yes, but we are moving on to our next game.